<laughs> I just finished zeroing this thing. You guys gotta hop in here and look at this. So I'm really not, I'm very anti-manuals. So I didn't, I just basically lost the manual immediately. This is one of two of these optics in the country right now. Century sent me this to check it out, see if it's something they wanna import. But you'll see, we've got a B and H, uh, a thing and a thing. And I don't know what any of that stands for, uh, but I figured out through process of elimination that B is down, H is up. Uh, that thing is left and that thing is right. And how I figured that out is I kind of pulled out my phone and just Googled the words for uh, up, down, left, and right in Russian. And there were some similar characters in those words. Could not give you any idea of what they mean, uh, but uh, we kind of did an educated guess on that thing. Uh, I think this optic is really cool. It's got a lever right here. I'm not sure what it, why it does this, but this makes it darker and this makes it lighter. I have no idea what the significance of that is, but it's like that second kind of ugly cool. You know what I mean? Where it's so ugly that you gotta have it. So when they asked me if I wanted to test the optic, I was like, oh yes, <laughs> please send it. Uh, Cause I'm a, I'm a Soviet junkie, what can I say? The AES-10B is a Romanian manufactured rifle modeled after the Russian RPK. The rifle is chambered in 7.62x39, as you would expect in an AK pattern rifle. While it is at its heart a stamped AK, the rifle departs in several different ways from what we typically think of as an AK in standard configuration. First and most prolifically is the 23 inch heavy barrel. For contrast, a Wasser comes with a 16 and a quarter inch barrel. Barrel comes threaded 14 by one left hand for com block compatibility and comes fitted with the slant brake. Attached near the end of the barrel is an articulated RPK style bipod that folds and locks into the body of the rifle and is spring loaded for deployment. Although the rifle comes in just under seven and three quarters pounds, the gun comes fitted with a carry handle on the starboard side that can fold out of the way so as not to include target acquisition. The AS-10B comes fitted with an RPK style club foot stock. It makes it more compatible with optics than a standard AK as the drop in the stock is not as extreme. Speaking of optics, the rifle comes fitted with a Kami optics rail on the port side of the rifle in the standard location. And we have fitted it with the NPZ PK-1 Tritium 1X gun sight mentioned previously in the video. Taking a look under the hood, we see a familiar face. It looks like an AK. One critique, while they did include a woven Kami spring, which I like, they also included the paperclip. If these were ever imported again, it would be great if they went the extra mile and included a retaining plate in place of the paperclip, especially when we're talking about an MSRP of $1,500. One more note, the rifle has a storage compartment in the stock, presumably for a cleaning kit. However, mine did not come with one, nor did it come affixed with a cleaning rod, even though it is relief for one. Enough of this voiceover, it's time to go shoot an RPK. Take me to your leader. <laughs> Second time for <laughs> Soviet Russia, no survivor. it comrade oh no you have not practiced you failed <laughs> what do you think Oh, it's a blast. Yeah, you like that gun? Yeah. Well, hey, that you know. That one, I opted not to shoot at a second time. Because it was angled away. Yeah, it's probably wise. 
But uh, you've still got some ammo left in that magazine, right? Yep. So uh, there's a van right there. Well done. Oh. I this like is my turn. Optic. So folding the bipod, bad idea. <laughs> so we'll leave it unfolded. I want to go again. Well, you're, you're loud. Oh. But I tell you what, I will. I've shot. I've shot the AS10B enough times. You can have my spot. And I will allow you to close the video out as long as you do a good job. Okay. So, I don't know about you guys, but I'm interested to see what that long barrel does as far as velocity is concerned. So we're going to shoot uh, 10 rounds of 124 grain FMJ boat tail. And it's the Red Army standard stuff with the uh, purple sealant. So you guys can see that there's a very fine window because of the height of the bipod here for me to be able to snake the rounds into the chronograph, hit the target, and uh, not shoot the white reflectors on top. So I'm not sure how this perspective is working for you guys, but you can see that there's a very fine window because of the height of the bipod uh, in which that I can get the rounds in the chronograph, hit the target, and not shoot the white reflectors <laughs> so but anyway that is velocity on the AES 10b well the velocities were pretty consistent so now I'm interested to see what kind of accuracy we get so 50 yards 10 rounds same ammo here we go Let's go check. I'm gonna go with right at 1.5. Yeah, no matter how I stick it, that's the longest measurement. I don't care who you are, unmagnified, I'll take it. So you guys see that barrel down there? Thing's full of water, and that means it's really heavy. And I tried to move it, couldn't move it. So uh, we're gonna empty it the easy way. See how controllable this AES 10B is. You hit it once. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Impressive fire. What do you think there, Bacon? Oh, I love it. Yeah, you like that one? Let's go to the 4473. Oh yeah, that's not happening. Thank you very much. No, no, no. No, that's, that one's mine. Thank you no, very I'm much. I'm taking it. No, you're not. It's mine.
So the only way to properly close out a video here at VSO is with a running gun. And I stole Curtis's spot to run the RPK a second time. You'd better do us proud. Oh. Begin. Cue communist march music. No, I don't think so. No. Last time I did that, I almost got my video taken down. Okay. <laughs> No hostage, no situation. Loathing. He has the shakes. <laughs> 